Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many Kubernetes users encounter. Our viewer is trying to set up horizontal pod auto-scaling after installing Kubernetes with kubeadem, but they're facing a roadblock. The command kubectl get HPA shows the CPU metric as undefined, and they're receiving an error stating that metrics can't be retrieved from Heapster. Let's dive into the details of this problem and explore how to resolve it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. The issue you're facing with horizontal pod auto-scaling is that it's unable to retrieve CPU metrics from Heapster, which is causing the targets to show as undefined. This happens because the horizontal pod autoscaler, or HPA, is configured to use Heapster for metrics, but in your setup, metrics are being provided by Seek Advisor instead. To resolve this, you can switch to using the metrics server, which is the recommended way to gather metrics in Kubernetes. First, ensure that the metrics server is installed in your cluster. After installing the metric server, you should update your HPA configuration to ensure it can access the metrics correctly. You can do this by checking the HPA definition and ensuring it points to the correct API version. Finally, verify that the HPA is now able to retrieve the CPU metrics. You can do this by running the command kubectl get HPA and checking if the targets column shows the expected values. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To fix horizontal pod auto scaling issues, first ensure that auto scaling is enabled on your cluster pool. Then apply your horizontal pod auto scaler configuration. Don't forget to set CPU and memory requests and limits on your Kubernetes controllers. This is crucial for proper scaling. If your pod has multiple containers, make sure to specify CPU and memory requests and limits for each container individually. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing issues with horizontal pod auto-scaling and see the error about metrics not being returned from Heapster, you're not alone. It appears there's a bug in the HPA API. One potential solution is to switch to using a replication controller scale reference instead. Here's a sample configuration you can try. Keep in mind, this solution is untested, so you may need to adjust the scale reference from scale target ref to scale ref. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
to fix the issue with horizontal pod autoscaling, try removing the limits from your deployments. Using only resource requests worked for me. It's noted that using just requests is sufficient for the horizontal pod autoscaler to function properly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If your horizontal pod auto-scaling isn't working and you're seeing a message about metrics, check your deployment. Make sure all containers have specified resource limits. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing issues with horizontal pod auto-scaling on AWS EKS, it might be due to the Kubernetes metrics server not being installed. This can prevent metrics from being retrieved. Check if the metric server is installed, run the command kubectl get pods n cube system. If it's missing, you'll need to install it. AWS documentation states that the metric server isn't installed by default. You can install it using a specific command. After installation, verify that the metric server is running with kubectl get deployment metric server n cube system. Once it's up, your HPA should work correctly. Once the metric server is installed, you can successfully create horizontal pod autoscalers that retrieve usage information. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Bye.